Welcome into All Things LA Real Estate. My name is PK Noel. I am running Point on this channel. Welcome into 2024. We're heading out to Highland Park. We're going to dive into the real estate numbers. 2023, not the hottest year when it comes to real estate. Inventory issues, rate issues. We are optimistic that as we progress into this new year, by this time next year, we have a much better sentiment as far as how things go. We'll get into all of that information. We're going to break down what's currently going out in Highland Park, one of the most popular neighborhoods on the east side. Sits in between Glendale and Pasadena. Very popular over the past 5, 10, 15 years. A progressing neighborhood. Great spot to live. One of the best spots, in my opinion, on the east side. We'll look at the current numbers month over month, year over year. We are not going to get into homes that have caught my eye. For those of you who follow along month after month, I'll explain that in a couple of segments here. But let's see what's happening. Before we dive directly into the numbers out in Highland Park, I want to give you a little bit of insight as far as what the sentiment is for the yearly scope of what's going to happen in the real estate industry. Obviously, last year we had extremely high rates in comparison to what we've dealt with for a very long time. We have recently just seen those get below 7%, which is a great sign. There's a lot of sentiment that we will not deal with any type of recession, which was a big uncertainty, especially last year. The anticipation for most of the finance and economic markets is that we will see multiple rate cuts by the Fed this year. Jerome Powell ensued so as long as inflation doesn't go back and start ramping back up. We have an election this year, so a lot of moving parts. No one knows for sure. But like I mentioned, we're optimistic that by this time next year, things have settled into more normalcy. We really got to address the inventory issues. We got some major videos coming out on the channel that address some of those issues that are outside of our norms, but it's just the reality of what we're dealing with. So as we look at the numbers in Highland Park, we have 19 homes available for sale currently. That is actually up 10 homes since the 1st of January. I'm taping this about a week into the month, but we were only at nine to give you some comparisons. We're typically in Highland Park last year, even with inventory issues last year, up over 30. So being at 19 currently is still over a 40% drop in inventory. That's not great. There's a little bit of anticipation right that, right? Not a lot of people are going through in December and prepping and getting their home available and put onto the market. They have the holidays, a lot of things going on from a personal perspective for people. So there should be some anticipation of that. Um, and we have seen, like I said, it's gone up 10, over 100% just in the first 10 days. Hopefully that continues to trend. And by the time we get to February, we're looking at a number above 30, hopefully 40 once again. Only one price drop. That's something we're going to address here in a minute. But uh, typically we're seeing 10, 15, 20% price drops in the market just because of the lack of buyers out there trying to purchase homes, but not happening here in Highland Park. The minimum price to get in the neighborhood, very consistent number is 750 k House needs a little bit of work. Um, but that's kind of your minimum perspective if you're looking in Highland Park. Our top end home, 3.680 million. Those of you who follow along month over month, uh, we are very familiar with that home. If you want some insights to the top dog in Highland Park, go back to the November real estate update for Highland Park. Go to the end of the video, look for top listing, and we break down all the numbers and get into that home, show you some photos as well. So check that out if you're interested. Our average right now, as far as homes available for sale, 1.438, 155. Very consistent number. Highland Park is not seeing that number uh, fluctuate as much as many of the other neighborhoods here on the east side. We've seen consistently throughout 2023 that number would be between 1.3, 1.4. So 1.438 is pretty solid. A little bit, uh, just a tad higher, but that just comes with the fact that there's not a lot of people who can afford the high ticket prices. You know, the interest rates have dropped below seven, but that's still such a high interest rate if you're somebody who's looking at two, two and a half million dollar homes, even the 3.6. So that's why that number tends to fluctuate higher because the homes with the higher ticket prices are sitting longer. If an attractive home in the 1.1, $1 million range becomes available in Highland Park, they tend to go quicker. Uh, our median right now is 1.39. We're going to be looking at both of those numbers throughout the year. Because sometimes the average, especially with low inventory, can have some outliers that affect it. So I want to give you guys a better scope. Got some help from, from one of the followers to kind of uh, tier me to, to make sure I add that number in 
as we you know prognosticate all these numbers. So, uh, but that once again sits right in our normal consistent 1.3 to 1.4 mark. Days on market is 38. That's very solid. One of the best numbers on the uh, east side in totality. We're seeing a lot of neighborhoods. Specifically, we've seen you know Pasadena get up over 60. We've seen a lot of neighborhoods that are sitting long. We're in Highland Park. It's just such a popular neighborhood. It hasn't had that extreme price jump, right? And the, the 1.7s, the 1.8s, things we see in neighborhoods like Silver Lake or you know Los Feliz is going out of control. Check out that video. That neighborhood is is unbelievable right now. Obviously Pasadena, Altadena, you know La Cunada. So there's a lot of neighborhoods on the east that are still at a higher ticket price than Highland Park, and I think that's why it's attractive. They've done such a good job. With kind of the downtown commercial area they've really worked hard to improve the crime and homelessness in the area as well and those kind of outside metrics are really important we did a breakdown of the schools in the neighborhood as well look for uh schools simplified best schools out in highland park just dropped that video last month um so for those of you who have children and you're interested to know what the kind of quality of the schools are where's the best opportunities specifically from a public or private standpoint for the young kids definitely check that video out um, but if you're somebody who's thinking about getting into the market right now, you want to buy in Highland Park, you're a home buyer, one of the most insightful segments is going to be what happened last month, because what's most relevant is what's most recent. So let's check that out now. Now, long term projections and, you know, scopes of the real estate market is obviously vital to understanding appreciation and understanding home values to understanding the entirety of a real estate market specific to any neighborhood, you know, whatever that situation is. But when you look at the most recent numbers, that's gonna tell you exactly what I mean. It really gives you the tools if you're somebody who's searching right now to put yourself in the best situation, understand where your offer's gotta be at, where's things going in this neighborhood. If you're somebody who's considering buying a home sometime soon, talk to an agent immediately. If it's me, great, happy to help. If it's somebody else, great but it makes no sense to wait to talk to a professional because you don't want the house that fits your mold to come available and you not to have representation already because you will miss the boat. Popular homes go quick, as you're gonna see here in just a moment. It costs you nothing to get with a buyer's agent and start getting some professional advice, start getting some help with your searches, start having a better understanding of what's going on. And just because you start working with an agent, does not mean you have to make an offer. So no money, it's not gonna cost you anything. You will never make an offer until it is the right fit for you, but you don't wanna be late, that's the bigger mistake. 21 homes sold in December at 108% clip. That is an incredible number. We saw a good December in Highland Park. It looked like a lot of people, just from a perspective of the numbers, just wanted to wrap their deals up. 8% over the list price is very high. What that number means is on average 8% over the price that was listed. A typical sufficient list price is going to be right up that market value. So when you see the 8% as a homeowner in Highland Park, I know I'm probably it's one of the metrics to know you're getting appreciation, but it's also some insightful number because of an attractive home. Let's say a million dollar home comes onto the market in Highland Park you know there's gonna be some demand for that even with the high rates because of this 8% average number. So I know if I wanna get this house and it's attractive, 8% <clears throat> over that list price is probably where I wanna go, right? So 80,000 probably needs to be my first offer realistically if I wanna have any shot of getting my offer accepted. And if we look all of last year, 24 was the high that we saw for, for home sold in a month in Highland Park. So 21 was a great number December. We anticipate January to have a huge drop off. Only 19 homes available for sale. It's just bound to happen. Minimum sale in December, 695K, 750, 700, 800, kind of always those minimum prices that we see out in Highland Park, unless it's a complete rebuild, complete project. The top end was 1.863 uh, million did not see a sale over 2 million. We've talked about that in the last segment. We just don't have the buyer demand on that top end. It's basically, a, you know, at this juncture, a cash only transaction position um, for a lot of instances there. Our average was 1.118,997, very consistent. We've seen that number over the past few months be in the 1.1 range. The median, same thing, 1.130. So 
that gives us some insight. We want to watch that number so we can see appreciation and see how things are fluctuating. We'll stay in tune with that month over month. Subscribe to the channel if you want to, you know, stay up on Highland Park. Like I said, every single month, I'm going to break this stuff down for you. Days on market is 15. This should jump out at you, right? So 15 days was the average for these 21 homes that sold. And that's why I'm telling you, get with an agent now because if a home becomes available, if the average is 15 on days of market, that means there were many homes that sold quicker than that. And you want to be able to get your offer in that night if it's the right fit, if you can afford that home and it fits you know, the criteria that you're looking for. If we looked into December of 2022, not too bad last December as well out in Highland Park, 25 homes sold, 101% clip. So it is a 16% decline year over year. If you're somebody who's following along with the channel, we had year over year declines of 20 and 30% consistently, just a major reflection of inventory being low, transactions are gonna follow that mean. So we're not too worried about the 16% decline. What we are looking for as we get into the, you know, quarter two, quarter three, especially quarter four of 2024, is we start to see some year over year increases and we're gonna keep our eye on that. As I mentioned off the jump, we are not getting into homes that have caught my eye. Reason we are not doing that is we just are waiting for more of the inventory to kind of work itself out. A lot of you know repetition in the market as far as the homes that are still sitting. We just had 10 homes jump onto the market. So when we get back to February, we're gonna get back into many people's favorite segment as we break down the value. If you're interested in what's going on in the neighborhood, you wanna know where I think the value lies, what some attractive homes that are available of the 19 we got right now, reach out to me, I'm happy to help. Thank you so much for watching the video. We do this every single month for almost every neighborhood on the east side. We're doing Pasadena, Silver Lake, Eagle Rock, Highland Park, Glendale, La Cañada, El Sereno, Cypress Park. The list goes on and on. So like and subscribe to the channel if you are so inclined. If you're somebody who's looking to purchase a home on the east side of Los Angeles or sell your home, I am happy to help out with you. Reach out to me. You can send me a direct message online or all of my phone numbers are listed. Even if you're somebody who's hesitant with 7% interest rates, that puts us in the same boat. It always helps to start preparing for future opportunities because you don't want to miss the boat there. We will tread lightly. We will look for value. We will get it done. I also do a ton of other videos. I get into the schools. I get into you know the restaurants in the neighborhood. I get into the attractions in the neighborhood. I do some other fun videos like quick cribs. So once again, like and subscribe if you are so inclined. Have a great day. Be kind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we go.